Good afternoon from Pigeon Forge. We're here at the Mountain Mile and we're gonna go try out this new Escapeology. Have you ever done an escape room before? No? We have done an escape room one time, very basic. I've already peeked in here and this place looks really neat. We're gonna bring you inside. I'm gonna show you all seven escape rooms that they have that you can come here and do, how much it costs. We're gonna go inside and actually try the Scooby-Doo one. So we're gonna bring you with us. I'm gonna show you a little bit. I don't wanna give it away, some of the clues that you have to find, but we're gonna bring you inside and show you what this new place in Pigeon Forge is like. Without further ado, let the, the adventure, adventure begin! begin. So if you can find these big, tall, white towers of the Mountain Monster in downtown Flavortown, it's gonna be in the same Mountain Mile shopping plaza. Over here to the corner, we're gonna go check out Escapeology. As you walk in, there are lots of seats for you to sit, and whether it's a hot day, cool off, or if it's a cold day, warm up in here and have an inside activity. We're gonna walk you through each of the seven current escape rooms they're going to eventually have nine but they're starting out with seven you got a little photo opportunity over here once you complete your escape room with your team and uh, you can come over here and get checked in you can make a reservation online they would recommend that that way you can make sure you get the room you want at the time you want but you can always just walk up here and see what's available. Prices start out at $45 per person, but I do have a discount code that I'll include at the end of the video and down in the description. They do have a Star Trek license, so they have a Star Trek escape room. We're going to show you that here in a little bit, as well as a license with Scooby-Doo. So they have the actual voice actors in their escape room. You can see the game difficulty. Star Trek is going to be the easiest, then Scooby-Doo. They got a Lost City, Who Stole Mona, which looked really cool. Seven Deadly Sins, Mansion Murder, and Orient Express is their most difficult room. So let's head on down the hallway and check out each of the seven rooms. And then we're going to try out a room and we'll tell you what we think. Really cool theming in this place as we head over to one of the first rooms. The first options you have is the Mansion Murder. It's a 9 out of 10, the second most difficult. I love the little fireplace in this room. Very well themed. They have this old classic piano that I'm sure comes into play to advance you to the next room, which is kind of this old library area and a number of different puzzles and books you have to figure out and hopefully advance to the last room, which is really dark but they have this little light bulb area in the back that you have to solve and figure out to escape. So we're gonna cross the hallway here and go over to the next one, which is the Seven Deadly Sins. This is an 8.5 out of 10 in difficulty. You can see the TV up here counting down your one hour of time and you've got this little chapel church area with this stained glass up here and uh, kind of almost a pew-like setting behind you that you have to solve some things and then advance to this little more creepy room in the back with some skulls and uh, some kind of box and a casket. The next escape room we're gonna check out is the Lost City. This is a 7.5 out of 10, so not the easiest, yet not the hardest. Kind of a Mayan decorated room. Kind of gave me Indiana Jones vibes. So if you can advance to this next room, you've got a couple different puzzles you need to figure out in here. And you've got a skeleton guy waiting for you. And I loved the water feature in this room as you also have some old Mayan type Aztec language that you have to decipher and figure out in this room. Next, we board the Orient Express. This is their most difficult escape room at a 9.5 out of 10. 
I love these screens on both sides of the room that make it feel like you're actually riding on a train. They told me that once the actual escape game begins, it has sound effects and lighting to make you feel like you're actually on a train. So this looked like a lot of fun. You have the TV up here showing you time and your clues if you need it. You're able to hopefully advance to the next room where you got this kind of bunk room with some old classic posters on the wall. And over here you can go through all your luggage in this compartment of the train as well as a little mirror. And then you've got this back section of the train where you have to solve some more things to hopefully escape. As we leave the train, we head off to space, the final frontier, to check out the Star Trek escape room. This is their easiest room at a 6.5 out of 10 on the difficulty scale, so a fantastic option for any sci-fi fan out there, especially if you love Star Trek, it gives you a feel as though you're actually stepping on board the USS Enterprise. To all my Vulcan friends out there, live long and prosper. Next, we go to try to find out who stole the Mona Lisa room. This one was really cool. It definitely caught my attention with these lasers. The kids saw it and said, oh, can we do that one? So we're gonna have to come back and do this one, especially since Brie and I went to Paris and actually saw the real Mona Lisa at the Louvre. So it's got some really cool elements in this room. We're gonna have to go back and figure out who stole the Mona Lisa. Before we head out to our last of the seven rooms that we actually did, I did wanna show you a little behind the scenes here they are there keeping everybody safe and giving you clues if you need to. Finally, we come to the room that we did, which was the Scooby-Doo room. This is a seven out of 10 in difficulty. Really cool fireplace over here. All these interactive screens that you'll utilize throughout your game and a really cool Scooby Snacks box that you'll also use. You've got another room that you hope to advance to to figure out more mysteries and solve more puzzles as a team and eventually end up in your last room. I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm just going to show you a couple highlights of what it was like for us. All right, everyone. Good luck and have fun. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. The aim of the game is to escape within 60 minutes. You must work as a team and search the room for clues, crack codes, and solve puzzles to earn your freedom. Your game master will be watching from mission control. You'll get three free hits, so pick when you use them carefully. If you need more, there'll be a two minute time penalty per hint. For example, if you escape in 58 minutes and use five hints, your actual time will be one hour and two minutes, as three of the hints will be free, and the next two will cost you two minutes each. If you escape quickly enough, we'll post your time in our online hall of fame. To maximize your experience, don't try to guess the codes. Nothing in the room requires force. We will never hide anything too high up, under, or behind heavy furniture, so please don't try to move or climb on it. Nothing in the room will need to be unplugged or disconnected. Please don't touch anything that has a red sticker on it. It's not part of the game. Everything else is part of the game. But remember, some things might just be there for decoration. Hey gang! Mystery Inc. here. Crystal Cove has been suffering from supernatural attacks led by a monster known as the Mystery Ghost. Ghost? It seems our villain is hiding secrets within this spooky castle. Not here. This is the bar Look, Baron's. I oh. think we just opened a whole new area. Wow. Oh, oh, there's there's right now, right now. Wait, take that off and then yeah. you can see the. Oh, the. Uh, oh, these things. Wait. Oh. Yeah, it literally says don't open the secret doors. Ready? Uh -huh. Scooby. Oh gosh. So proud. Yeah. Alright, put the Scooby snack in. Nothing happened. Nothing happened yet. We have 37 minutes left. Room two is dining room. Yeah. Oh, okay. 2A. 
Everyone on our team got an escapology bracelet with the name of the room that we escaped from. We also got a team photo, and I asked Hannah what she thought of this experience. I really liked it. Would you want to do it again? Yes, but maybe the Mona Lisa one. The Mona Lisa room did look really cool, so maybe we can come back and try that one another day? Mm-hmm. So, Micah, what'd you think? It was fun. Have you ever done an escape room? No. Did you like it? Yes. Would you do it again? Yes. Which one would you want to do next? The Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa with all the lasers? All right, we'll have to come back and try that out. So we just completed the Scooby-Doo room. It was amazing. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun. We got to do the room with Josie, which was awesome because we've been wanting to meet her for a long time. Go check out her TikTok channel, Explore Pigeon Forge, and we'll put a link in the description below. But what did you think? Scooby-Doo was one of my childhood favorite movies. It was so cool to be immersed into that environment. The actors were actually the ones who were doing the voiceovers, and I had a blast. It was a great time, and we escaped. That is the most important, <laughs> the most important thing. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, and we'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs> is that it? Sure. Is that okay. it? <laughs> Y'all need a catchphrase. That wraps up our look at Escapeology in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I'll put a special discount code in the comments of this video that you can use. Let us know if you have any questions in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Feel free to hit that subscribe button for more adventures here in the Great Smoky Mountains and beyond. We'll see you on the next video.